welcome to this video lecture about the transect walk or simply said transect. Remember from the other video lecture of uh, social mapping that the lady said, well, let me show you around and explain the map to you. Actually, today we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to uh, to her house again and she is going to show me around in the village. In this transect, I don't have a set of predefined areas like in the original transect, but I'm using the transect just to let a person show me around in the village so that I can get to know better what the community is about, what is going really well in the community, but especially also what are the challenges of the village and what are possible problems in this village. So. I'm going towards Maria now and I'm going to ask her to show me around and in the meantime I have the opportunity to look at it and to uh, ask her questions about what I see. In a transect it's not very usual to uh, prepare questions and I would really advise you to not prepare any questions but just ask questions on the road when you go. Let your natural curiosity do the work and you can think of certain subjects, but I wouldn't do that too much. Just go with the flow, let your natural curiosity do, do the work, but be aware, don't get too curious, because some subjects may be a sub taboo subject, and you don't want to uh, make people in, in feeling uncomfortable. When you invite someone for a transect, make sure that before you conduct the transect, you tell the participant of the purpose of the research, Watch out for raising false expectations though. And the participant will decide for you what is most interesting to see. You may want to discuss these questions. Where to start? Where to end? What to see? At what time to start? How long will it take? Does the walk need to be split into sections maybe? This all depends on the purpose of your research. Do you want to know what social services are present? or how many water taps are present and if they are working, what types of vegetations are present, levels of deforestation. There's many subjects you can address with the transect. Hello Maria. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. You are welcome. Thank you. Let's go to Maria. I invited her for the transect because she is a school teacher and knows the area very well. Other key informants for a transect could be, depending on the subject of your research, village elders, if they are able to walk a long distance of course, church representatives, women representatives, community representatives, vulnerable groups, village council members or even others. When you walk around the area with a highly respected person, such as a church representative, it also creates more trust towards you among the community members, which makes it easier to approach them. So be careful with whom you approach for the transact. Okay, let's go then. So, we are using the community map that we made the other day to do the transect. This is however not a prerequisite. Transects can also easily be done without a map. An advantage of a transect is that during the walk you can ask questions about what you see at that particular moment. People do not know what you don't know or what is different from what you are used to in your own area. So, topics that people might not feel worth mentioning during a traditional interview may be discussed during a transit. Wow, all the plastic bottles here! Ah, these, these people collected them, they take them for recycling. Yeah. And these days, these people, the industries, the real industries, are recycling them to, to make other materials. That's why they keep on telling people to collect them and they earn a small living. Okay, charcoal they make from it. Yes. So what is the main source of income then here? Around here uh -huh. is those small stores and the shops that they are, they, they've opened up. Yeah. Um, can I ask you a question about yes. this? Where does this water come from? Uh, whenever you see something that strikes you, you can 
ask questions about it and then the person will tell you about the challenge of what you see. So in this case I saw this, this water and it's like really dirty that everybody can see that. So what I would like to know now is where does this water come from and are people actually using this? Do animals drink this water or use it in any way? What would your solution be to this problem? What would be best suitable to get rid of this problem with the contamination of the water and the mosquitoes? So we could work together as we go at the mm -hmm. to a transect is not intended to immediately gain deep insight knowledge about the challenges of the area and their causal relations. This is just to gain first impressions. And I would keep the deeper context for a next one-to-one -one interview. Rather, during this transect, keep a list of all your observations or make pictures. Where does this water come from? This is one of the broken to exist. So the place is smelling because it's that it's a broken sewage system. Yeah, I can definitely smell it. Yeah, smell it. <laughs> yeah. And, and where does it go? I can see that it streams that way, but I can see that it also streams towards the houses over there. It doesn't reach those houses, but it goes along the canals that connect to the main canal, which is called the National Channel. Due to the floods, when it's a rainy season, it may reach mm. as it is. The area floods because of the many foraging bugs and peppers, it may flood that place around there where we live. Really? How often does it flood here during the year? It may flood on rain two times when it's so heavy. When the rain is two so times heavy. a year? Yes. So then does the water ent actually enter the houses? It does around those houses there where we live. What do people do when, when it's flooding, when it gets into their houses? Sometimes some others shoot to other areas and others just stay carrying away the water from their houses because they have nowhere to go. A transect can be quite a time-consuming activity, especially when it's a big area. Make sure you both have the time for the transect. So, what to do with the results of your transect? First, they could serve to further define or choose the final subject of your research. Or second, if you have collected enough data and it's structurized, you can even use it for analysis. In this case, you may want to discuss parameters with a participant to be observed during the transect. Mm. Mama. <laughs> 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 I had to, I've heard so much about this village already. It was a really nice walk and now I get more insight in what is going on in this village and the challenges that you're facing. I have a small appreciation for participating. Thank you. Let's see what it is. Alright, thank you so much Maria and I'll see you around. Storm clouds are blowing through